is Tuesday and I've gone for a little walk. I'm going to try to head down toward the end of the runway. Just for fun. It's a nice beach. These two buddies just came wandering down to the beach and then went for a little bit of a swim. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, did you have fun? Yeah? Who else is going for a swim again? Is it getting too hot? Who's going for a swim? Gonna come for a walk then? Yeah? Okay, we'll go for a walk. Okay. <laughs> There's where my two buddies ended up. They're probably looking for me right now. They wander around traffic and make me nervous. This is where the airplanes come in right over the beach and uh, it's kind of fun for the people to witness it so I'm going to stay here for a while and have some drinks. People going out to line up to feel the jet blast. Somebody's hat went for a trip, and that's about it. That was kind of funny. The trouble with doing vacations by yourself is that, yeah, you end up pointing the camera at yourself an awful lot with nobody else to hold it. I'm here on the same beach, uh, not too far from the entrance to the lagoon, at a place called Character Beach, spelled with a K. And uh, there's a bit of a bar and... Uh, beach club here and there are a couple of those along, along the way too. I don't know if my friends got back to the beach here. I haven't seen them. I'm sure they know the area very well. That's down the way that we walk to the airport. Me and my buddies. Well, at 10:40 uh, this morning on uh, June the 14th, we left St. Martin and set sail for uh, St. Barts. That is, once I got the proper island configured into the uh, chart plotter, I wondered why we were on such a lovely reach going to St. Barts. Turned out I was going to St. Eustatius or the I had a call Stacia. So uh, I uh, redid my calculations and now we're beating hard, as makes more sense, towards St. Bart's. But it's a lot closer. Uh, Eustacia was going to take us about uh, four hours and uh, St. Bart's is only going to take a little over two. So it's not that far away. As a matter of fact, I think you can see on the horizon now. If you look carefully, you can see it, it's there. It's not that far. And our sailing uh, was not without some interest. 
interesting aspects too. Uh, as I was going to put the sail up, uh, the halyard seemed to be very stiff, and of course I stopped to check to see what was wrong, and the halyard was actually perched on the edge of the upper spreader, right on the spreader tip. So I had a wiggle and whip the rope around a little bit until it came off the end. Now we're all set. So we'll probably hang on to this uh, tack for most of the way, and then at the very end we'll uh, come about and make uh, the harbor of Vestavia. We haven't been there for Vestavia. We haven't been there for many years. I guess it was 92, our, our last trip to uh, St. Mark. Well, I'm on a little walk up toward uh, the path of the aircraft that come in. It's what we did last time when we were here, watch the airplanes come down the hillside and then try to land at the airport on the one single runway, so I'll go do that again, see if anything's changed that direction. Not far from that cross and that overlook is this meteorological station just up the hill. This was the uh, site of Fort Gustav, the most uh, important fort in the area. It overlooks the uh, the anchorages and here is a stone guardhouse which is the only remaining structure. Just a little shelter to stay out of the rain while you guard the place. So we're just continuing on our walk. Came up from that direction and now we're going to head over here and see if we can get over to where the uh, airport approaches. This little structure here is some sort of a hotel on the road. And some of the fascinating stuff you see. And uh, just on the other side of the commercial port is the uh, leeward anchorage where I am. I believe it's that further boat. And here is an area marked uh, no entry because the threshold of the runway is just down there. And today, I'm going to take a look at some older buildings and Fort Oscar. Wandering on the way over there now. Well, 
Fort Oscar is not available for viewing. It's a gendarmerie, a police station, and uh, not open to the public. So there'll be no uh, viewing of any Fort Oscar going on today. It's cute watching these little uh, gaggles of uh, sailboats go by, uh, kids learning to sail. And they go way out there with the instructor in an inflatable. And there's some diving on that wreck non-stop 210 foot pleasure craft that sank there. Dive, little dive boat working on that. Lots of activity here today, it's Saturday, so I guess you would say uh, people having fun on the weekend. It's now 10 o'clock in the morning, and uh, there's the island of Stasia, St. Eustatia. So it's just going by on the, port, on the starboard side. And uh, over here we have our destination, St. Uh, Kitts. We have to travel down the uh, leeward side of the island uh, and head off to the east quite a bit, to the southeast. Up the southern 